If you're a developer, you might be interested in jailbreaking the latest version of iOS 6.1 beta. You can see I'm running it here. This is actually beta two. So I'm gonna show you how to jailbreak iOS 6.1 beta two using Red Snow 0.9.15 beta three. So place the device in a DFU mode, hold home and power for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds is up, release the power button, continue holding home for an additional 10 seconds, and the screen should stay black, something like this. Now head over to your computer, open up Red Snow 0.9.15 beta three. It should detect your device, iPhone 4 DFU mode. Click on extras, then click select IPSW. Now you wanna select the iOS 6.0 firmware for your device, in my case, the iPhone 4. It should successfully identify, click OK, and then go back and click on jailbreak. And now we'll process all your jailbreak data, patching the kernel, etc. And eventually you'll get this menu here, install Cydia, make sure that's checked and click next. Now it's gonna exploit with lime rain, all that jazz. And you guys have probably done this a million times before. So just wait and be patient. It's gonna wait for reboot. And in a few seconds, you'll notice your iPhone will start doing some things. You'll see the matrix mode, you'll see the RAM disk, all that jazz. So give it a few seconds. Here's how it should look. Once you see done there, you should see downloading jailbreak data, matrix mode, scrolling past really quick. I've obviously sped this up a little bit because this takes forever, especially this portion, moving applications takes forever to, um, to complete the moving application. So I've sped it up for your convenience. And eventually we should be back at our lock screen. We are right now. So let's go ahead and unlock our device. You're not gonna notice Cydia just yet. This is a tethered jailbreak. So we needed to perform a tethered boot. So to do that, what we need to do, guess what? Yes, go back into DFU mode, hold home and power for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds are, are up, release the home or release the power button and continue holding the home button for 10 additional seconds. The screen should stay black just like it is right here. All right, so we're good there. Let's head over back to our computer, go back and then select IPSW again. Select your iOS 6.0 firmware again, click OK, and then just boot. And that's pretty much all you need to do. For a beta firmware jailbreaks, you need to actually select IPSW again like we did there. If you don't, you're gonna fail on your, on your just boot, on your tether boot. So just keep that in mind. So now it's waiting for reboots. We should see our screen light up here in a second with the pineapple logo indicating a successful tethered boot. There we go. So there's the pineapple logo. And this takes a while as well, so I've sped this up for your convenience so you're not sitting here just waiting, listening to me talk. So now let's unlock our device. Let's swipe over. Cydia may not be there just yet, but it should appear in five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Okay, there is Cydia right there. So it takes a while to appear sometimes. Just be patient, it'll come. All right, so now select user. We're good to go on that. Now, let me just prove to you that I am actually running beta two. Uh, of course, Cydia is loading just fine, but let's go to Passbook because Apple made some changes with iOS 6.1 beta two. You can see there is a new feature, the Passbook explanation. So this how you jailbreak iOS 6.1 beta two. Hope this was able to help you out. Let me know what you think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.